Hello my darlings, and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are in the area of Finchwick today, and just near the village square is where we're going to be making a start on our first build. This is the lot where the Gnome Inn is going to be built. So let's get into game and make a start. Happy Wednesday my loves, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the first part of the Gnome's Arms. We are going to be building a lovely little pub in the kind of village square area of Hemford on Bagley. And I'm very, very, very excited about doing it. I have got a couple of reference images that I'm going to flop up on the, up, 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 up on the screen for you now. <laughs> I'm going to flop them up. Um, I love this pub. This is the Devonshire Arms, I think it's called. I mean, you can see the name of it, but I just had to go and look because I don't know if you know, but on Twitter, I did put out that I pushed this microphone into my monitor yesterday, my second monitor, and it has smashed. So I haven't got my reference image up there yet. Um, and yeah, anyway, didn't need to tell you that, but I did. The Devonshire Arms. This is a pub in between Sheffield and Nottingham, I think is where it was. So it's a little bit further north than what I was planning on getting a reference from but there's just something about this pub I just really love the look of it I mean we're spoiled for choice in the UK of pubs to get references from and I didn't want to go down the route of having a thatched roofed pub here because I kind of already built one here on this lot and I wanted to go for something a little bit different and this is the pub that we're going to take a lot of inspiration from today and do a cheeky bit of building and I'm very excited about it I really really am I think this is going to match in wonderful with this area so what I really want this pub to have is a bar area of course a pub area with seating I want it to have a beer garden I want it to definitely have some kind of cellar as well and I also want to have rooms above it so I want it to be more like an inn really so I think what I'm going to be calling it is rather than the gnome's arms is the gnome inn I think that is a little bit more of a fitting name for this pub. So that's what I'm going to call it. The Gnome's Inn or the Gnome Inn. I think the Gnome Inn sounds a bit better. We'll go for the Gnome Inn. But I want you lovelies to help out with this. I want you to come up with a storyline for this pub. So think pirates, think urban legends, think ghost stories. I reckon this pub is like maybe 18th, 19th century sort of vibes coming from it. Maybe there was a weird murder happening in here or lots of smuggling places where pirates used to bring in contraband from overseas. I want a storyline to kind of like come from that kind of seed. So what I want you to do is write, if you, if you want to, you don't have to, write a little story in the comments below and if you see a story that you think oh that's such a great idea give it a thumbs up so i can see the most popular one and we'll go for the most popular one and then i'm going to base this build around that we're going to get going with the exterior today but then we've got like nearly a full week into the next one well until tuesday and then i'll come in with a little bit more of a, some background and then what i'll do is also film like a tour and stuff kind of surrounding that storyline I think that would be a really good idea to kind of get you lovelies involved with this. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Yes, we bloody are. So without further ado, let's get into the build mode properly and make a start on the Gnome Inn. So here we go, my beautiful darlings. Right, I'm going to do it quite close to the front of the lot because I really want to do a lovely beer garden back here with some grass and some trees and stuff. I want it like a quite a green sort of background back here because I did a very much a patio last time. And I think it being so near to the canal, I think having a nice big green area with lots of picnic benches will just be marvelous. And that's what we're gonna do, yes, guaranteed. Right, I think that's a little bit too far forward because what I wanna do is come out here with a little entrance vestibule. So I think that's what I'm gonna do there. And then I'm gonna, what have we got here? Uh, if we do maybe 15 is probably gonna be the, the best size for it, yes. And then I'm going to come back here, maybe seven. Uh, I think I'm going to go a bit wider than that, actually. I'm going to come back here to maybe an eight. We'll go for an eight first because I do want to add a little bit of an extension on either side, I think. We're not going to make the build look exactly like the reference image. I just want to take some inspiration from it. And then I'm going to copy up the top here like this. Beautiful yes stunning and then what i want to do is get some windows in just so i can get a feeling of spatial awareness 
And I'm going to put the windows a bit closer this way and a bit further away from this edge, I think. I think that's what I want to do. Let's see what I do. So let's go for these windows here from university. I just think they look the most, I don't know, fitting, I'm going to say. Fitting for the build. We haven't really got any good George sash, or like Georgian sash windows. So we're not going to be putting any Georgian sash windows here, sadly. Uh, I think I want to do one there. One there. And as I said, I wanted this a little bit closer on this edge here. Just was a bit offset over on this side. I think that's what I want to do. I might even add a little chimney breast in here. Sorry, a chimney breast in that area there. Let's see what's going to happen with that. Okay, we've got that on for starters. Let's go ahead and get the roofing sorted. So I'm going to pull that all the way across. Flaps are all going to be flapped in, my loves. So flop your flaps in as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Um, just sure shade for goodness sake. And I'm going to pull this down quite sort of streamlined. Round about to there, I think. Let's see what it's going to look like with the chimney there. Oh, I do like that. I might do a half wall there, though, and put the chimney on there. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Lots of chimneys in this place. I mean, this build, well, the reference image has got three on it, but I think we'll probably go for maybe... Maybe three as well. I don't know. It's going to be surprising for all of us, isn't it? To be honest with you. And I want to do some kind of window. I mean, roof at the top of the windows. Uh, I'm going to tuck flaps in as well there. Let me see this. Yeah. I think that's going to work. I don't want to bring the eve out. Or do I? Let's have a look. No. And let, what about unless I do that? Um... Ah, uh, I don't know. I think I'll see what happens. I'm going to keep them there for the minute and we're just going to see what happens. We're going to do another one here, another one there. I don't like them. It doesn't it doesn't scream what I want it to. I want it to scream, look at me, I'm gorgeous. And it's not doing that for me right now. So I'm going to flop you to there, you to there and you to there as well. I think that could work. I do like the kind of offsetness of this as well. I really like it. Okay, I'm going to go for a half hipped on the entrance area. Now, in the reference images, image, the ref, the entrance was like here. This would have been some kind of, I don't know, maybe area for people to sit or something. But I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to have this as the ref, um, the entrance instead. I am going to pull that down, I think. I'm going to pull it down even a little bit more. I think to maybe around about there. I think that could work. Yes, I do. I very much think that could work. We've got it got it to the edge of the lot, but I definitely want to leave enough space here for some kind of um, beer garden. So I am going to do a little extension onto this side here, I think. Let me just see what this is going to look like. Get you to there, my love. Okay. And then the same over this side, but I think what I want to do here is do a chimney breast. Let me see. I'm probably going to do what I'm going to do here and put the chimney on there and a half wall, maybe. Yes. And then add an extension just around the side here because I do want to get a kitchen onto this lot. It's very important for a British pub to have a kitchen. So I'm going to flop you to there and I might even wrap it around a little bit further here as well. Just so we can get a bit more of an interesting roof line on the back there too. Yeah, I think that could work. Okay. Well, we've got windows on, haven't we? I'm going to put windows at the bottom here as well. I'm going to do one there. They're a bit low at the bottom. I think they need to come up just a little bit more. Uh, no, actually, I prefer that where it was. Windows are often very low on older buildings in the UK. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's because people were shorter back then. But I tend to always put my windows a little bit lower on my older builds. A little bit of useful information for you there. Anyway, so I don't know what to do here. I don't know whether to do a half-hipped roof on the side here, which I think would look absolutely marvellous if I can pull it down and then get some of those flaps going on this bit. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, that one's staying like that, that's for sure. And then I think over here we're going to have to get a bit creative of what we do with the roof here. So I think just using a hipped roof, bringing it into there, popping that one over delving her into this one like this. But I'm probably going to have to go into the wall with this, which is fine. I don't mind that. It will help it look a lot more equal. And there we go. Look, beautiful. Yeah, that's stunning. I am going to pull flaps out on this as well. 
you and you are coming down, my loves, and the flaps are going to be flapping. Yeah, I didn't want to go up against this wall with a roof line. I wanted it to kind of like trail like this. And then what we can do is put a drain pipe on this side. Realistic purposes, you know, so the rain will get drained nicely. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I think we need some wallpapers. I really do. And I'm definitely going to try and bring that blue influence in with the trims. I think that would look really nice. And I have got the wallpaper in mind as well. And it's the Castle Estate one. Yeah, we're going to use this one. So I'm going to put this one at the top. All the way around. Beautiful. Um, do I want to do that there? Or are we going to do... The, no, not that one. You silly, silly bum. Maybe that one. Up to there. And then do the ombre at the bottom there. Yes. And then we're going to use... Is this the darker one? No. This one on the roof pieces. Bish bash boosh. Can we get you on there, my love? There we go. Stunning. Is that all the way around? It is. I might do this one. No. <laughs> I'm going to do this one just on these areas where the roof line hits, you know? Uh, probably want to do it there as well, don't I? Which means we need to put a dark one there. That's fine. And the same up there as well. Beautiful. Let's get that ombre one over on that bit too. And then go ahead and put the clear one on the rest of the build. Oh yes, I think that's the tickety-boo right there, loves. I'm not really keen on the windows being white. I think I might change the color of the windows, but I want to get the roof texture and the trims on first. Oh, I much prefer the gray windows. I think that looks better. Oh, I see this pub being somewhere on Dartmoor or something. I'm very much for it. It's spooky looking. Um, I also changed out the windows. I got rid of like the detailed ones and put the other ones on top. Um, I just think the detail on top just looked a little bit too much because I want to be climbing ivy up on this and I want lots of flowers on the outside of this pub. So I think that is lovely. And I also did a mixture of roof textures. I've used some of this mossy texture um, and also this plain kind of like slate looking one as well. Uh, and I think it's working. Oh, I'm very much for that. I really am. Very much am. We need a door. Now, this is the perfect looking pub door. And I'm hoping the blue ugh, is going to work okay. Oh, the green looks okay. What about like one of the wood tones? Is that going to be too much to have like a darker wood on it? I think it might be. What about a lighter wood? Oh, that's not too bad. I did like that green though. I think the green works. Oh, it does. Oh, it very much does. Now, imagine this as well. With I'm going to put out some picnic tables here towards the front just in case you want to sit right out the front area and I think I want to wrap a nice stone wall around the whole back of the lot I think that's what I want to do yes the two and date so what I need to do is go inside and figure out a floor plan because with a floor plan comes where I can actually put the windows and stuff so let me do that and I'll be right back so a little bit of a floor plan this is all subject to change I do want to do some half walls and some span draws up on the ceiling and wooden beams and stuff to kind of separate this area off but i have played around with a little bit of platforms so you're coming through this way main bar area here i think we'll have some kind of seating up on this area here as well also over to this side here with a nice big fireplace over here as well i have got a chimney breast here of course but i think what i want to do is put the chimney breast like another fireplace up into this room up here and just forget about this side over here I will be putting in some kind of fireplaces into these rooms here as well, which I need to make that happen by putting up some chimneys on top of the actual roof line. Um, we have got a kitchen area over here. And then this area here is going to be a bit of a storeroom that takes you down into the basement level as well. So I have got a lovely cellar, a beer cellar down there too. You come around to this way. I'm going to do a toilet here with kind of like baby changing facilities and all of that kind of good stuff. Another toilet there too. This is just kind of acting as a corridor really into the toilet. I just wanted to separate it off from the actual pub itself. And then you come up the stairs. Oh, we've got three rooms here for to rent out. That's what I want to do. Like a nice little inn, um, each with their own ensuite bathroom as well. And I have put windows on the back here. And I have used these bifold, bifold doors, but as you can see, they kind of creep through the ceiling at the minute. 
So I'm going to figure out something else to put there. The bifo doors look good, but they're not the one for here. So I'll figure out something else to put there. Don't you worry, we will do something fantastic. But we're not concentrating on this today. We've got the bare bones in now. I've chosen the windows for the back of the build as well. Apart from the kitchen area and down on the bottom here. We'll do that when we get to the back. But for now, what I want to do is put in details on the actual exterior at the front and make the exterior look very beautiful. So that's what we're going to carry on doing. I think what I want to do first is get a couple more chimneys onto the actual roof line and pick the chimneys we're going to be putting here as well. Okay, I'm going to go for these chimneys here, the bigger one and the smaller one here. So first things first, let's see where those rooms are. Where are we going to realistically be putting the chimney breast or the fireplace itself? It's going to be around about there. That's going to be very high. I think I'm going to just use my initiative and move it down a little bit further. Okay. And then we've got another one here as well. So again, I'm just going to match in of what we've got going on here and flop you to there like this. Let me see this. I do like it, but I think things are going to change once I've put the chimneys on top of these. But I think what I want to do is wrap it in a half wall. Um, we'll see what happens with that. First things first, let's take you off and get you in here. And then we're going to lift, we're, we're going to get a half wall around there and lift it up, I think. Same with this one. I'm going to flop you onto there. Can you go onto the edge, my darling? That height's not too bad, but I still may lift it up slightly. <sighs> I don't know if I, do you know what? I don't know if I'm feeling this chimney breast anymore. I think we need to take that chimney breast away. Yeah, I prefer it without the chimney breast there. It was nice to add a little bit of dimension to this build, but I think once we get on lots of details on here anyway, it's going to really pull it together. And that still looks nice as far as I'm concerned. But I am going to try and wrap in a half wall around here. Or will I need to do a full wall? I think I'm going to have to do a full wall, which I'm not bothered about. That's fine. We are in the wrong position with this chimney breast. Okay, yeah, we're going to do that and we're going to do you here as well. Let's copy one more of you because I know you're going to disappear. Because why? Because The Sims is a whore and so am I. There we go. Let me see this. Yeah, I think this could work. And I am going to use the darker brick on these bits and then bish out the middle of them. And then get that texture in there as well, just in case. And then flop in a couple of chimneys. And then lift it up with the platform tool. Let's have a little look at you, my darling. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer that. I do. I much prefer that. Yeah, cute. And then what I can do is come to that level and wrap on. Doesn't need to be big. That's what she said. And then I'm going to... Oh, the colour of the chimneys are going to be a twat. What about if I get rid of the platform inside? Oh! The colouring is back. I just need to bish bash boost. Boosh. Out that platform. And then Bob's your uncle and Fanny is indeed your aunt. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm glad we got rid of that chimney breast. I think it's going to work. I'm going to get lots of wisteria up on the ball and also lots of ivy. I see this place being littered in ivy. Definitely a haunted establishment. I'm looking forward to your storylines, my loves. I really am. So I am going to wrap on... A little half wall there as well. I don't think we need to lift that up any further. I think it's absolutely fine as it is. Or maybe we do. Just a smidgen. Yeah, something like that. Something like that will suffice. I will say so. Lovely. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull out a plethora of beautiful things. And we're going to decorate this front area together. But I think that pub matches in really well with the surrounding area. I like it. Um, Let's go. These details are going to come in a couple of waves. We're going to do wave one first. So I want to get... Oh, I really wish there was a blue looking drain pipe, but we don't have that. Um, of course we don't. So I'm going to flop you up to there and bring you up to there as well. Do you come down with that wall? You do. Yeah, I think that's the perfect place for that one. And I'm going to do another one over at this edge as well. I'm going to do one around about there like that. Just let me see this. Yes, we're going to continue on. I do want to get some of these windows on these little roof pieces. And I'm hoping that they're going to fit in. But I'm going to have to move you, move them manually. What does this look like? I've not tested this either. I like the look of it so far. I'm just hoping for the best, really. Oh, I like it. Yes, these are here to stay. 
let's get the, get these on in a nice position. They're all probably going to be at differing heights, but that is because the pub is very old. Okay, that is the reason for it. Thank you for coming. That one's really, really low compared to the rest. I know I'm nine miles away, but I find it easier that way. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. And I'm thinking about using these. Let's have a little look. I could put them there. And I reckon I could do them on these two as well. I won't be able to do it on that because it would just... You know, it's in it's in the way of that roof line and it would just be annoying. I think that blue is going to look marvellous there. Oh, I do like that, yeah. Very nice little pop of red there. Very nice. We're going to start laying on this wisteria now. So let's grab you and put you in some marvellous, marvellous places. Bring you to there as well. Let's make that a little bit bushier around there. Let me see. Oh, yes. Uh, let's get that big boy. Come here, my darling. And I do want to get two more of those vertical ones. So I'm going to put one there and then finish it off on the end to here as well. And as you can see, I've also started to blanket the front of this build in ivy. And I think that's going to pull it together beautifully. Yes. I'm just going to do like each kind of corner, I think. Um, and it just, again, oh, can you? That was not me farting, by the way. That was Daisy snoring. I don't know if you heard that. For goodness sake, why is it always me? Like, why have I always got to say I've not farted in my videos? For goodness sake. <laughs> I would own it. If I farted in one of my videos, I would own it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I would own it or mute it. There's two There's two. Re there's two. two ways, you know. <laughs> Daisy, for goodness sake. Right, and then... I really love this ivy on the corners. I think it really works. I think what I'm going to do is clamber it up onto the not all of it but just on to the chimney breast as well uh, this this ivy is always hard to place to make it look natural because it's so square it just always looks so copy and paste so you have to really overlap them i just overlapped it just i've just overlapped a small bit there as well so there was no reason for me to put that but you know sometimes you've just got to go along with what you're doing and that is indeed what we're doing today yes we are yeah, that's cute. I like that. Oh, imagine this with like, an, I'm going to do a nice bit of signage up here and picnic tables and stuff out the front. And I think it will pull it together really nicely. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and grab now for wave two of this detailing of the front. And um, we're just going to get some more trinkety bits. So a few things. I think we should do some blue shutters. I think these look marvellous here. Now it is going to probably reduce the amount of space that i've got to put up a sign and stuff but i'm going to use them anyway i think that oh yes that is the chickity tittle tickle the titty boo i'm gonna say that's a word that i've made up today and it is tickle the titty boo and that means just gorgeous to be honest <laughs> do i know what i'm saying half the time no is it verbal diarrhea probably but this is what we're going to be doing yes we are um, that is, the trellis is kind of eating away in to my, um, shutter there. It's a little bit annoying, but I'm just going to just overlook it. I'm going to overlook it. I'm just going to pretend that that is not a thing. And we're going to flop these in either way. Either way and either side, you know? They're all going to be a bit wonky, but again, they're very old. Oh, that's made it very nice. That is really annoying. <laughs> Can I size that down? I mean, I could just use the smaller one, couldn't I? Why don't we try the smaller one instead then? Let's see what that's going to look like. That's a large. Why don't we go for a medium? Je ne sais quoi. You know, let's put that in. I'm not going to do it in the white, though. Let's stick with the grey. It blends in with the rest. Oh, that's a bit better. Yes. Now, this sign, I really wanted to go here. What about if I sized it down? Would that fit in there okay? Oh, it kind of does look. Oh, result, loves. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. When things happen like that, I'm into it. That ivy is absolutely fine eating away there. Oh, these blue shutters have really pulled it together. Oh, this wisteria is going to have to move slightly. It's all right. I can just whoop, flop it over to there like that and then whiffle that one like that. Oh, it's like it was meant to be. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to have the same trouble here. Bugger it. We're just going to pretend that that trellis is behind it. That kind of hides it a bit better than the top anyway. That's fine. That's fine. 
And then the same with this one over here as well. I like all the ivy kind of growing around it, but that looks a little bit weird. Ah, <gasps> that's the ticket right there, loves. Oh, I'm full that. I really am. Right. As I said, I wanted to get some picnic tables with some umbrellas or parasols on them. I think I want to put them that way, actually. So look. Yes. Let's pop you this way. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited about going to the pub in the summer. There's just something about a British pub in the summertime out in the beer garden. Oh, I'm for that. And I know I was going to keep this front bit open, but I've decided against it. We're going to do a lovely dry stone wall. Yes, we are. Is this going to be an okay colour match? It actually is. I didn't think it was going to be then, it, but it is. But let's flop you around to there, just to here. Just to this bit here. And the same with this one. I'm going to flop you. I might actually go a bit bigger on this side. Oh, no, because I do want to get a tree in there. I can still put a tree in there. That's fine. And I'm going to bring you all the way around to there like that. Oh, she's the girl. She really is. And this is the Gnome's Arms um, signage. I would have loved to have this a bit bigger. Um, but when you size this up, and I think it's because there's animation on this, the sign itself, it doesn't size up the sign, sadly. So I'm just going to have to leave it as it is. But I would have loved to have that to have been a bit taller. But it's not, sadly. Oh, well, we've made a start on the Gnome Inn, my loves. And I'm very happy of how this is turning out. I really am. I think just to finish it off, what I want to do is actually grab out a couple of trees and put them either side. So let me do that. And we're going to be complete for the day. And there we go. I think that's just pulled it together lovely. Um, I, I haven't done any of the train paints or anything around it. We'll leave it till next time until we do that. But I think we've made a lovely start here. Oh, there was one more thing. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Let's pop these up first. <laughs> Flower boxes, loves. I want loads of them. So I'm going to do one there. That's probably a bit high, actually. It's a bit excessive, Aiden. One there. One there. All the way along here. I'm going to do three here. Yep, I'm even going to use that trellis. Why not, you know? Oh, there we go. Tickety-boo. I haven't done any of the lighting or anything yet. I'll leave that until next time. But we are actually done now. <laughs> but that's came out really nice, don't you think? I think that's came out really... That fits in this area really nicely as well. Um, But yeah. The Gnome Inn, my darlings. I want some storylines for this wonderful pub. I want some ghost stories, some legends. I want it all going on. So get those juicy comments rolling in. And don't forget to give the, your favourite one a thumbs up. And we're going to pick the favourite one on Tuesday when I'll be back with this again. Tomorrow, I'm going to be coming back with some Design Me Devon. We haven't had a Design Me Devon in a while. So be on the looks out for it. And then on Friday, I think I'm going to be doing a cheeky speed build. So look out for that too. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching my sweethearts. Leave me some lovely comments and some wonderful stories. And I'll be back with you tomorrow. Goodbye.